Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole four elect scattered abroad. I'm the brother Yohanathan, com coming from the Great Millstone Salt, Great Millstone West Palm. Back again with another lesson, and I pray this lesson is edifying and you know, really just want to go into the topic, you know, how can I accept a man teach me, you know, coming from the book of Acts, the 8th chapter, I believe the 31 verse, man, you know, a lot of our people tend to want to be taught, you know, worldly things rather than things that matter, or right, just like you got Kevin Samuels, you know, a lot of men are more receivable you know, to, to things pertaining unto women. You know, a lot of people are perceived, you know, you know, a lot of people tend to want to learn about things that aren't profitable. Or a lot of men learn from people. And then such as um, our apostles and elders, a lot of individuals learn from them. And then they tend to, you know, turn around and act like, you know, they, those are not the men that, you know, those are not the men that they learn from. All right. The reason why we have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is because of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. He put his spirit back uh, back upon the earth. All right. He's building that um, the tabernacle of David. All right. But he has set up men. Okay. And just like um, Amos chapter three verse seven. You know, it shall be surely revealed unto his servants, the prophets. Okay. The heavenly Father is dealing with his men, the servants. All right. And that's how this truth. All right, it, 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 it's going out, man. You know, starting from starting for, uh, starting first off with Abba Bivens, you know, which is Elijah in, re, in the reincarnation. All right, it tells you before the dreadful day. Matter of fact, let's begin that in the book of Malachi. Um, uh, the book of Malachi. This is Malachi chapter Malachi chapter four verse five, and it reads, "Behold, I will send you Elijah." The prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and that's what happened when a hey, when Alba Bivens when Alba Bivens was risen up, all right, which is Elijah in the reincarnation, all right, and through Alba Bivens, that's where you got our uh, elders and you know our elders and apostles, man, all right, and this is where you're seeing the fruit thereon from now, man. You know, all this fruit. So the Heavenly Father is dealing with his men, all right, which is you have to discern which are the true leaders and not, all right, but backing up the point, how can I accept the man teach me? And all our elders and apostles and brothers down have been taught by men. You know, a lot of our, a lot of our people, you know, a lot of Jake, you know, being learned from a man is, is, is frowned upon. You know, nobody want to be the little homie. Everybody want to be the big homie. But hey, Yahweh Shemal Shah has set up the leaders, all right, to, lot, to lead and to God, okay? Because when you go into that word teach in that, you know, in that chapter, it goes on to God. And, you know, let me try to get it on the laptop. Let's see. Um, blue letter. Bear with me one second, Akim, or a few sisters. Oh. All right, let's try this again. You know, getting that, getting the word uh, teach in the blue letter. But let me go ahead and let me go ahead and get that in the book of Acts. This is the book of Acts. Let me see. Uh, All right. So this is the book of Acts, chapter 8. And I'm going to start at verse 26. And it says, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that go down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia and eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge, who had who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come unto Jerusalem for Tarosa. Right. So, um, the um. The, um, the man 
of Ethiopia, the, of, of Ethiopia, the eunuch was um, uh, like unto a treasury. You know, he was an Israelite, but he was working, you know, under the queen, right? You know, so he was Jake, but he was working, you know, with the um, the queen of the, the the Ethiopians, Candace. Okay, in verse twenty-eight, and it says, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understand, understand that, understand that thou what thou readest. And he said, How can I? And Salaki, I think, um, I think uh, verse thirty is going back to Isaiah the fifty-third chapter, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and it says verse thirty-one, and he said, How can I? Except some man guide me and he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. You see, so hey, that's the spirit that, you know, you need to come in, man. You know, a lot of our people try to tend to go their own way. All right. When the, hey, that foundation through the apostles and elders were set up through the spirit, man. You know, those are the true leaders of the nation of Israel today, man. You know, the apostles and elders are great millstone, man. So a lot of people don't want to take that humble route, you know, wanting to be learned, you know. You know, the scriptures speak about um, he that pleases great men have great understanding. You know, basically be willing to, to, to basically having the ability to be taught. You know, a lot of people don't have that ability, man. All right. Or have that humble route. Okay. And then I want to get it, you know, in the blue letter. Acts 3 and 31. All right. And the word is. Hot the Gale. Strong's G, 3594. Hot to Gale. Okay. And what does it mean? It says, to be a God, lead on one's way to God, to be a God or a teacher to give guidance to. You see? So we have that. All right. Going through the scriptures. You know, Jeremiah chapter 16. Let me get that. Or um, Isaiah, the 30th chapter. All right. Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. The Heavenly Father setting up um, pastors according to his heart, meaning his mind, man. A lot of these people are doing things for their own filthy lucre sake, man. You know, a, a lot of false teachers have been set up as a stumbling block, all right, to, to, to lead Jacob astray. All right. But only that what? Only the few. Only the remnant. Only the elect. Is going to have that that humble, you know, have that humble approach to them, all right, to, to wanting to learn, okay? You know, we learn this thing from men, you know, that, hey, a lot of people, you know, try to say, hey, the Heavenly Father, oh, ah, the Heavenly Father spoke to me, oh, ah, I'm, I got a dream, which you can't have a dream, hey, but the Heavenly Father say he's not getting off his, his throne, man, for anybody. And that's why he set up the servants, the prophets, all right? He set up his men to lead in God, man. You know, a lot of, you know, a lot of our people don't want to go that route. But let me get Jeremiah. Uh, let me see. Jeremiah. Nope, it's Jeremiah chapter 6. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. And it says, thus said the Lord. Stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we would not walk therein. You see, so the scripture go, it says to ask, man. All right. And who, who are you going to ask? The men that have been set up, man, to God and lead, man. All right. Now, let me also get um Isaiah. Nope, spirit. Isaiah chapter 28. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. And it reads, For whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. And this is talking about them being drawn from the breast. This is talking about babes, man. Are to, to, are to, in order to understand this truth, in order to... All right, to, um, to to conform your mind to the ways of the Heavenly Father and His Son, whose true name is, is Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shah. All right, you have to become a babe. You have to become a new creature, man. And a lot of our people don't come under that act, man. 
All right, they trying to do it their own way. All right, but it says, I'm going to read it again. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For pre precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, man. All right, let me also get Isaiah, not Isaiah, Hebrews. Hebrews, the fifth chapter, all right? Because, hey, you know, the scriptures speak about our heritage being discontinued from us, man. You know, us being in the land of our captivities, you know, us being in the land of our captivities, remembering ourselves, man. Meaning that, hey, there was a falling away time, man. Meaning that, you know, us being in Babylon, we didn't know who we were, man. You know, a couple years ago, for brothers, many years ago, but for myself, five years ago, I was in a Gentile state, man. Meaning that I didn't know who I was. I didn't know the name of the Heavenly Father. But through men, you know, I, I, I was taught. All right. And that's how it has to be. You know, you know, many people won't understand that. But, you know, that's the order. The Heavenly Father has ordinances to everything. And this is Hebrews chapter five, verse 12. And it says, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Heavenly Father and become such as and become as see forgive me and and are become such as need of milk and not of strong meat all right and going back into bays but the point says that i'm reading it again that you need that one teach you again all right so meaning that somebody has to teach somebody had to teach us again who we were man because there was there was a point in time where jake didn't know that they were israelites man all right. Again, our heritage being discontinued. Uh, you know, when you go into the book of Maccabees, you know, Jake. You know, it was. It, you know, Jake couldn't call himself Jake, man. They couldn't call himself a Jew, right? So, hey, we all we coming back into remembrance, man, onto who we are. All right, that we are the Heavenly Father's chosen people. Are right? we coming back into that that royal priesthood, man? All right, but again, it has to be taught, man. This is not. All this is not on all the court, man. Jake didn't wake up one morning and oh, I'm, oh, I'm we Israelites now. No, nah, this had to be taught from us, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Now, I want to finish up on uh, the book of Acts. This is Acts chapter 8, verse 31 again. And it says, And he said, How can I except some man guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up to him and sit with him. This the place of the scripture which he read was this he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb done before so open he not his mouth and the humiliation and his humiliation in his humiliation his judgment was taken away who shall declare the, who, who shall declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth and the and the and the and the eunuch answered philip and said i pray thee of whom spake it the prophet this of himself or of some other man then philip then philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him yahweh shah hamashiach and that's going back to isaiah uh the 53rd chapter all right in verse 36 and it says as they and as they went on their way then came a certain water and the eunuch said see here is here is water and what doth hinder me to be baptized and Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thy mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is the son of the Heavenly Father. And he commanded the chariot to stand, to stand still. And when they went, and when they went both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized them. And when they and, and when they were come out of the water, the spirit of the Lord caught away Philip. That the eunuch saw him no more and he went on his way rejoicing you see you know so like us we being baptized through this word you know even though being baptized by water is not wrong with that but you know us brothers we being baptized through the words of Yahweh shot all right uh let me also get let me also get um isaiah the 30th chapter this is Isaiah this is Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20 and it says though the Lord give you the bread of adversity 
and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. You see? So your eyes are gonna see your teachers. When you go out to when you go out downtown, you're gonna see your teachers. If you're on YouTube scrolling, you're gonna see your teachers. Hey, the Heavenly Father has it set up when you go on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you're gonna see the prophets, man. All right? You know the right prophets. In verse 21, and it says, Thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Going back to Jeremiah the sixth chapter, man. You know, this is the way, walk ye in it. And who is saying that? Those that have been those those that have been set up to lead into God, man. Okay? And it says, and when he turned to the right hand, and when he turned to the left, meaning that when you wherever you go, you're not gonna be able to escape the words of Yahweh Bashamal Shah. It says that their the word um their sound has went unto all over all over the earth, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. All right. So the words of Yahweh Bashamal Shah are being published, man, throughout the four corner. You see? So you hey, the Heavenly Father ha has this set up, man. All right, you just gotta take that humble route, man. A lot of our people don't want to, you know, start from the bottom and build their way up, man. But that's the way that it's set up, man. You have to be taught by men, you and, and you have teachers, man. All right, that have put in, they have put in work into this thing, man. You know, it speaks about, you know, stepping in men's ministry, man, or into men's labor, roughly paraphrasing. And that's what we have done, man. Our, our apostles and elders have been on the scene for thirty plus years, man. All right putting out this word, man, are laboring for your Habashimah Shah. You have to be a fool to reject the knowledge, man. All right, so, you know, through the spirit of power of Habashimah Shah, you know, I wanted to just go into that verse, you know, going into that, you know, Acts verse 8, you know, <clears throat> Acts chapter 8, verse 31, and go into it, man, because, hey, hey, the men of the Lord are out here, man. You know, don't misuse them. All right, there's going to be a time when this word is going to be removed from the internet. You're not going to see the men on the highways and byways. So attain this truth while you still can. Matter of fact, let me get that in Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah. Let me try to get that, man. Let me see. Lord willing, forgive me. See if I can find that verse. Let's see. Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 56. This is Isaiah chapter 56, verse 6. And it reads, Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Right. And and and, and how do you seek the Lord, man? Uh, uh, uh through his men. All right, first and foremost, you know, first and foremost, fearing the Heavenly Father, calling upon his name. All right, but how is the Lord found? By his prophets, man. These videos being out, man. You know, these camp lessons, all that all goes into it. And it says, call ye upon him while he is near, because there's going to be a time again when you're not going to have access into this word, man. So, you know, through the Spirit and Power, Yabash, I just wanted to make this lesson. Lord willing is edifying to the next time, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakhab Kudash, devil honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Till next time, Shalom, Ababa Ba, Kwame Shalom.